When you reach the member dashboard section of Web Forms, you can use the Create Transaction button to find all of the templates related to listing a property. Under Zola Residential, you'll find Listing Lease Condo, Listing Lease Freehold, Listing Sale Assignment Condo, Listing Sale Condo, Listing Sale Freehold, and then the relevant commercial listings paperwork as well. All of these templates will have the relevant paperwork required to list these properties included in the template. In this scenario, I'm going to use listing lease freehold as an example. You want to name the transaction something relevant, so I would say client name property address. You don't want to import any data and you want to make sure that you are added as the listing salesperson for the transaction. You also want to uncheck use wizard and then you want to click create. Once the documents have finished loading, you want to click on forms on the right hand side and you will see all of the relevant forms for this transaction. You can start by clicking on listing agreement. Here you can go through and fill out all the relevant form fields for your transaction. You want to make sure that you are putting the total commission collected for this transaction in this form field. So for example, if you're listing a property and you're offering one month's rent as compensation, uh, pardon me, at one half month's rent as compensation to the cooperating party, you would put one month's rent here. You can go through the rest of the documentation and fill out the remaining paperwork and then move on to the next page or the next form by clicking on transaction forms at the top. Let's move on to MLS data information sheet. All of the information written in the MLS data information sheet will be re reflected in your MLS listing that you will upload later. In this form, you wanna make sure that all of the orange sections are filled out. Those are the mandatory sections required to upload a listing. Make sure that you fill out all the paperwork exactly as it will appear on an MLS listing. In certain sections like area, you will find that it will auto-populate fields for relevant sections. So if I select York, in municipality, it will only show me cities or towns inside of York. When I select Markham, it will only show me communities inside Markham. This is how you would go about filling out this paperwork on your computer. If you were to fill out this listing, say for a digital signature or prior to meeting your client. Let's say you printed this paperwork out and you needed to know some of the details about what you could actually include. And by that, what I mean is, in the description section, you're only allowed to use certain descriptions. So this stuff won't show up if you print this form, but it is included in a separate sheet. If you go down here to Rooms, Details, Descriptions, you can see all of the descriptions available to use for that section. These are the only items that you're allowed to input in the description section of your listing. So please use them as required.